Hey, it's Dennis here, VE3BF, and I've got this really cool idea for a portable antenna for, uh, well, I've been using it here at the picnic table, tried it out, and it works really cool. This is a fishing rod. It's a Shakespeare uh, Wonder Pole. Got it from Amazon for uh, $21.95 Canadian. Don't lose this little cap. It's very, very important later on when you're trying to put stuff away. But anyway, this is a telescopic pole. And I've put a little clip on here uh, to attach my wire. And there's a little eye that comes with it. Even paint or uh, yellow color at the tip so that you don't lose it. Just pull this out. Carbon fiber, as I said before, weighs less than less than three pounds, probably closer to two. I haven't really measured it, but there you go. That's a 20 foot mast and uh, very, very lightweight. I can hang on to it with one hand. And so let me show you what I've done here for an antenna. So the first thing I did was to uh, take some speaker wire and before I separated it, I measured it out. Um, I wanted to make an antenna that was going to be resonant on 40 meters. So I uh, checked out on uh, the internet, found a uh, wave calculator, 33 feet, nine inches was going to be a starting point. I cut it a little bit long because uh, it's easier to take wire away than it is to add on. Uh, so I cut it 33 foot 9 plus a little bit and uh, then I split it so that I know that uh, both my uh, counterpoise end and my um, antenna end are the same length. So let's take a quick peek here what I did at the uh, at the antenna end. I uh, added this little clip that I got at the hardware store for uh, well less than a dollar and uh, put a tie wrap here a little bit of tape that keeps it uh, taut. So we grab our antenna I've got the other end of that clip here a little D-snap and I put it on with a uh, tie wrap because the uh, eye for the, uh, the uh, fishing rod was actually too small. And just like that, we've got the start of things. And just by doing some wrapping uh, and bringing that through. Now, I discovered through trial and error that if I make my wraps about two fingers, I've got just enough space on the antenna uh, to go all the way down to the base uh, with uh, even coils and uh, just enough wire to make it down to the base. So by, um, by doing it that way, um, I found that my SWR was actually pretty good. As a matter of fact, without cutting anything, it was one to one. So we'll just speed forward here. All right, so keeping my two fingers across, I've come across to a seam here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna grab a little bit of electrical tape. And I don't know if you really need to do this, but uh, it came loose on me uh, a couple of times during testing. So you know what, the tape is there, it's always in my bag. A couple of loops of tape, keeps the uh, coil taut. I always do a little fold over so that uh, when I wanna take the tape off, I've got a little tab there that I can just grab and take the tape off. So we'll continue on here with my uh, spacing at about two fingers width. And I find it's just as easy just to turn the pole here and hold the wire and it goes down pretty quick. So there you have it all wrapped through. We put some tape in, we've got the end taped off and uh, you know, it's 20 feet long. So we'll back up here so that the camera can get it. The white wire really sets it off. Uh, very, very lightweight, doesn't uh, react to the wind a whole lot. So let's take it to the next step. So here's the finished part. I've got an LDG uh, four to one ballon here. I've hooked that uh, antenna side uh, to the, obviously to the antenna, to the coiled wire. I've got the ground side going to a counterpoise and it's uh, just strung out there about 33 feet long. Well, it's actually 33 foot nine inches long. And I've got it attached to a piece of uh, coax. Uh, this happens to be RG213, it's what I had in my bag. It's uh, all about what's available to you. This is a four to one ballon. Some people have asked me why not use a one to one ballon or why use a ballon at all? Well, the idea is that you wanna stop RF uh, electric, electrical RF coming back through to your radio. Um, so putting in a ballon is a good idea. Really, when you think about it, uh, this is a 90 degree. So you would think that the, Im the impedance between this point and this point would be about 50 ohms. So you would use a one-to-one -one ballon, or uh, even if you want to make a, um, an ugly ballon, or an air-wound ballon, uh, take a piece of five-inch PVC, wrap uh, roughly nine to 12 turns uh, onto that. Uh, there's all kinds of videos here on YouTube about that. But uh, anyway, this is what I had in my bag. 
and you know what it resonates at uh, 71 150 as I said earlier and I think that the inductance of this coil uh, and the other thing is that uh, carbon fiber is a conductive material so I think there's some inductance there anyway it worked it was what I had in my bag uh, you can try maybe an experiment with different things uh, send me a note if you've uh, made something else work like this uh, keep the coax as uh, straight as possible this does become uh, acts a little bit like a counterpoise or a radial in its case. Uh, I found that if I uh, had the coax uh, a little bit out of um, uh, wound up or anything it was it was affecting my SWR. So there you have it a quick easy to deploy vertical. I've been able to uh, load it up onto uh, 20 meters. It loads up fine onto uh, 17, 12, 10, 15 uh, even six meters it loaded up and that's all with the internal tuner on my TS 590 so the SWR isn't that far off um, I will add a little later on some show notes and I will uh, let you know what we find out when I borrow a friend of mine's uh, antenna analyzer and we'll we'll plot a curve on it but uh, there you have it very simple antenna and uh, the question you're probably asking yourself is it as efficient as a full-size dipole up in the trees no it's not it's a compromise antenna certainly doesn't take up a lot of space and it works. I've made contacts all across uh, North America uh, as far west as um, BC and I'm in Ontario here. I've made contacts in Argentina and I've made contacts in Europe so it does work. Anyway thanks for watching. If you have some comments leave them down below and uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'm Dennis V3BF again thanks for watching.